Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 58. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class B North America tour. Um, yeah. Club Circuit Reverse on Sunset Peninsula, Sedona Raceway, Mazda Raceway, Road Atlanta, and then New York Circuit. Let's go. All right, here we go. Race number 16 of the day. Yeah, but was that on the series console? Was that on the Xbox One? Hmm. But remember, you still have the additional installs that you have to do in-game. Like, if you want to play zombies or if you want to play multiplayer, you have to do the additional installs. So, um, yeah. Strange. Well, yeah, the PlayStation version for the PS5 is huge. Again, I have no problem with it being big, but it just means that I have to delete stuff. We are tragedy. Shut up, Cotto. I've already, um, so when I get my Steam Deck, I've obviously got the smaller version, the 64 gig version. So what I've done is I've worked out what I want to install to the Steam Deck. And then I'm going to buy a 512 gigabyte SD card. And then I'm going to transfer all the stuff that's on the Steam Deck to the SD card. And then use the Steam Deck's internal for only emulation stuff. Um... Two separate libraries. Oh, my video just did a funny thing. Oh well. Not bad. Yeah, I know. It did some weird shit, but that's going to come through on the video and the stream, but... Oh, wow. These things happen. And it wasn't too bad. Can't expect the PC to be running at 100% for the entire stream, you know. It's just sometimes the hiccups happen when I'm not recording, and sometimes they happen when I am recording. This is what it is. No, 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 no. Listen. Do, 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 do. I love this song. It's awesome. I think it's called Bandicoot? Yeah. Bandicoot by Flavor D. Two months and five days. Impressive. 
listen. I have no clue, to be honest. Ah, it might be because um, you're starting your third month. So, yeah, I think Twitch does it based off of the month that you're starting. So you're starting your second month, your third month, your fourth month. Seventy four hours is pretty impressive. And I've been away for three weeks, so you know. Pop Keep smiling. Tomorrow is another day. Cause tomorrow is another day. Cause tomorrow is another day. Cause tomorrow is another day. Keep it going, keep it going. Boop, boop, boop. So yeah, this time next month, uh, we will be playing WRC Generations. I'm hoping the release date is on a either a Tuesday, a Thursday, or a Saturday or a Sunday. That I don't have to move around my Forza streams, but I may have to move around a Forza stream. So, fun times. Because tomorrow is another day. Worries. Shit. There you go. You buy Modern Warfare 2 on Steam. Fair enough. It is the cheapest place to actually buy it at the moment, so we got 12 grand there. Not bad. 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Cadillac. Woohoo! All right, here we go. Race number two of five. My touch portal stopped working as well. Since I've been on holiday, they've updated it. And uh, it doesn't actually work with Twitch anymore. So I've got to update the integration again.
There is a huge audience for the uh, Call of Duty series, but me, myself, and I, I, I'm probably not gonna play. Like, I'll get Modern Warfare 2 because I think is Modern Warfare is actually quite a good game. I won't be getting another Black Ops because the Black Ops series just is really fair. But yeah, when I played Modern Warfare, I really enjoyed that, the 2019 one, so I might get the 2022 one. Steam obviously has a refund policy that I can get my money back, so if it's shit, I'll just get my money back. To make me feel alive. Yeah. I will say though, Modern Warfare on the Xbox was really shit. <laughs> it was horrendous. Fair enough. How did your Wi-Fi die? Oh no, me Wi-Fi died. Do 
Pod does have a big view of Ace. Pod games have a massive fan base. Massive fan base. I forgot this song existed. That's not bad. I could do without many viewers right now. <laughs> Sad face. It's not a very well mastered song, I'll be honest. The uh, audio level is a bit all over the place in this song. That's why it sounds really quiet compared to other songs. Because it's just not mastered that well. That's why I hate songs that just aren't mastered correctly. Because they don't get properly done. You end up with a really quiet song and you have to turn it up and it's crap. Right, let's go to the next race. Alright, here we go. Race number three. It is killer on PC though. Deathloop on PC is such a good game. And it's verified for Steam Deck, which means it runs really well on the Steam Deck. Oh yeah, it's just come out on Xbox, hasn't it? The Xbox and the PlayStation versions are nowhere near the PC version at the moment, though, so... Boom. Be your monkey wrench. It's time to make a mess. <laughs> One in ten. One in ten. I want to be your monkey wrench. Mm -hmm. 
Not bad. Doing good, lads. Your monkey wrench. One more in peace and accident. I don't even know if that's the lyrics, but I don't care. I'll never be your monkey wrench. Falling, falling. I do love that the uh, atmosphere on this track is really... Like, there are people watching, but it's really weird. Is you wouldn't normally have people watching for like a smaller race like this. Now we listen to Last Resort. I don't have Last Resort. Well, it's on the playlist, but it's... If it comes on. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. The day is my enemy. Yo. <sighs> Get out the gravel. The day is my enemy. The night is my friend. Not bad. Right, we've got one more lap left. We got this. During the next stream as well, we're going to hit 60 hours of playtime. Which is crazy. So I think Motorsport 1, I think, was 60... 60, 70 hours of playtime. So... Definitely a much bigger game.
Not bad. Good night, my friend. And there we go, across the line. Get down, get down. Not bad, we got a 10% discount on valves and displacement upgrades. All right, here we go. What an engine roll. That's what happens with Call of Duty. There's just shit ton of hackers. Nice one. Oh my god, that was close. So many... That's the one thing that I don't like about Turkey. So where we went, it's so close to the sea. Uh, which... Nighttime, water, lots of mosquitoes. To get bit... Basically eaten alive... Ridiculous. Post Malone has some good songs. Good tunes. Come on, keep it going. For the this is really floating around these corners quite nicely. This is one of the few American cars that I've actually been able to somewhat handle fairly decently in this game. I do. Oh, I do.
Du, 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 du. This is race four. I think this is the fourth one. So we've got one more race after this. Ah, somebody added to their story on Snapchat. Woohoo. Come on, done. Not bad. I think my foot's gone numb. Yeah, it's gone very numb. I've lost all blood circulation to my foot. My foot's dead. My thoughts very much did. There you go. Across the line. Woohoo! 14 grand. There's your XP. Wow. <laughs> Lovely. You had to slow down. I do like that Hyundai really are focusing on making their cars look good. Do you want to know the one thing that I do actually find kind of surprising? Right. Is the last time I went to Turkey... It's another, like, holiday kind of conversation. Last time we went to Turkey, there was a lot of, like, 2012, 2010, older cars. This time we went around, there was a lot of new cars roaming around. A lot of, like, 2019, 2020, even 2021 vehicles, which really surprised me. Um, but as well, another thing, one thing that's really common in Turkey, especially when it comes to cars, um, is they have a lot of saloon cars. Um, a majority of their cars are saloon cars, but what's really strange is that they have, um, so obviously in the, in Europe, and the UK in particular, um, a lot of the times, a saloon car is something like from BMW. You get a saloon car like that, Audi. Those kind of companies make you saloon cars, but they make specific saloon cars. Well, in Turkey, there isn't really much thing as a hatchback. But instead, you get Honda Civics, 
that are saloons. So you get the front end of a Honda Civic, but then the rear end is the saloon style. And I'm not going to lie, some of those saloon cars look really good. There was a Honda one that I was like, wow, that looks beautiful. And it was basically just a Honda Civic, but it was made into a saloon. It was amazing, but you don't get that in the UK. They don't offer that in the UK. But they offer it over there. And I can tell you for certain, if they had a Honda Civic hatchback and a Honda Civic saloon as an option here, some people would take the saloon option. Guaranteed. But we only get offered the hatchback. And if you think, compare it to, say, um... There was another one there as well, which is the Renault Megane. They had the new 2019 Megane, which already the Renault Megane itself, the newer ones, look awesome. But this was a saloon version, and I kid you not, this saloon Renault Megane looked so much better than the original hatchback version. And again, that saloon version is not available in the UK. You can only buy that Megane as a hatchback. And it's so strange that these saloon versions of these hatchbacks aren't offered in the UK. I don't I can't even put a finger on why there'd be a reason for it. The only reason I can think of is that when Ford did their saloon in the UK, or the Ford Focus back in I think it was 09. Um when Ford did that, I think that was a flop because that car did look hideous as a saloon car. Because they just didn't put any effort into the styling of the rear of it. And I think that's why people just don't buy saloon versions of hatchbacks and why most car companies just don't do it. But that's the only reason I can think of. Because it's not like the Brits don't like saloon cars. Because we absolutely love saloon cars. We'll buy up so many BMWs in that. And again, okay, maybe it might be that there's no point fighting a market. But why not be the company that offers the versatility? You can have either the McGann in a hatchback or a saloon. I mean, Renault, when was the last time you saw them do a saloon car anyways? May as well do a McGann saloon. Why not? But they don't. They don't do it. Stupid. It's stupid. There we go. That's my rant for this stream, by the way. Ranting that car companies don't do it like the Turks do it. Oh, shit. Damage me engine. Tell me that you need me. It's like the Subaru Impreza, okay? The Subaru Impreza was kind of a... Rev oh, actually, no, it was... Yeah. They made a saloon version and a hatchback version, and everyone loved both cars. The saloon version was good. The hatchback version that they made was good. They were the same car. Like, why couldn't they do a similar thing for other cars? Granted, I do think Subaru should do another WRX along with a, a company in hatchback as well. I mean, that would be a cool... cool... Uh, cool idea. Turn the crowd up now!
Meow. Turn the crowd up now. We'll never back down. <laughs> what a tune. Uh, there is a free name change, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. And I know for a fact, if you change your name, it does break stuff. Like, you can't change your name without losing game saves. Some game saves do completely break when you change your name. So, be careful. And that is it. A million credits. Woohoo! So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.